everybody who is watching us live. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, today is a special day for us. We are launching a new Note, a Redmi Note 6 Pro. My name is Manu Jain. I lead Xiaomi's business in India. Uh, pretty happy to be here uh, in Delhi. You know, every time I come to Delhi nowadays, I'm carrying something special with me. Can you guess what it is? It's a pollution mask. Uh, the pollution levels in city uh, and many other cities in India have continuously been growing and this is becoming a big problem for all of us. Uh, but not for all of you guys uh, because happy to share that we have six air purifiers running in this room. So the air quality index that you see here is significantly better. This is the live air quality index. It's about 70 to 80 AQI versus about 300 to 500 outside in Delhi at this point of time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it next one hour, okay? Thank you, Manu. Am I audible? <coughs> Very good. Uh, now let's get to where, why we're all here. The Redmi Note 6 Pro. Uh, the Note series has always stood for one key thing. It has been the best all-round device available in the market across all price segments in the country. And this has happened for years. In fact, I was talking to a couple of fans out there and I found people still using the Redmi Note 3. It's just such an incredible device. And that legacy has carried forward in each generation. Uh, incredible all-rounder. Uh, Manu also spoke about the fact that the Redmi Note 5 Pro was the best-selling dual-camera device in the country. We have taken things even further with the Redmi Note 6 Pro. As you can see, we've given it an incredible tagline, quad camera all-rounder. It is a Note, it is an all-rounder, and now it comes with four cameras. But not just that, a whole lot more. Let's talk about the cameras. Now on cameras, and we've come a long way. Uh, with the Redmi Note 6 Pro, we are bringing in our first quad camera setup to the country. And with the Note 6 Pro, it also takes things a lot further. Uh, it's not just a quad camera for the name of it, but it changes things significantly. Let's look at the primary camera and how we've changed this. Now the primary camera actually is comprising of a 12 megapixel high performance sensor. Now this captures all your key images. Along with that, there is a 5 megapixel depth sensor. From, why did I say high performance sensor? Because when you take pictures like this one, you get incredible details. Now this picture was not clicked by a professional, but our team, and this clicked in Bali. Uh, what you can see, incredibly detailed picture here. Uh, the overall colors in the ocean are captured really well at the top. Now this is something that most cameras will struggle with. When you've got such harsh lighting coming in, You've got so much detail in the foreground that most cameras will miss out on the detailing on the sky. And what not only do you have that, but all the uh, clouds and everything else is also depicted accurately. Uh, <clears throat> now obviously you've seen some great dynamic shots, but there's another segment that we've been focusing on at Xiaomi, which is to improve your overall photography experience when the light conditions are a bit more challenging. Now, there are a lot of changes that we've done to the camera. However, I'd like to take your focus to a few of them uh, from a hardware perspective. Number one is for the first time on the Note series, we're using a wider f1.9 aperture. Now, with this aperture, what we've also changed is the camera sensor itself. Now, the camera sensor here has a massive 1.4 micron pixel size. Now, how does it work together? How does it change your overall camera experience? With the Note 6 Pro, not only with the wider aperture, you are able to capture a lot more light. In fact, this light is a lot more compared to the best-selling dual camera in the country, which is the Redmi Note 5 Pro. But with a larger pixel, uh, a 1.4 micron pixel uh, size incidentally can obviously effectively process about 25% more light. Uh, so you get more light coming in and your sensor can also process this light better, giving you incredible uh, photographs in low light conditions. Let's take a look at this particular shot. Now this is a really good shot. 
Of course, it has to be because it's clicked by the Note 5 Pro. Uh, you get all the detailing. Uh, none of the edges of the sign are blurred out. Uh, the entire uh, colors are coming out accurately. Now, what happens if you've got a wider aperture and a larger pixel size? And both of them working together along with Xiaomi's camera software. You get shot. You get a whole lot more detail. What you didn't realize with the first one is this entire sign sits on this acrylic board. You can also see the rivets at the back. You can see the wiring. It's just able to process that light so much more better. And of course, the reason we've done all of this is because our fans have really liked our cameras. And this is something that really matters when you're kind of pushing this to the next level. You are able to get clearer and sharper low light photographs than ever before, making this one of the best cameras that you can buy across segments. <clears throat> one more aspect which is quite interesting when it comes to low light photography, and that's how quickly can you focus. We have not left that out. With the Note 6 Pro, you also get faster focusing. Uh, of course, uh, this is something that we spoke about with the Note 4 as well, and then the Note 5, is we introduced something called PDAF, or Phase Detection Autofocus. Now how that works is roughly about 5% of your pixels are actively finding this focus and helping you focus faster on objects. Uh, the reason you need a faster focus is because you want to eliminate those blurry photographs coming in and you try to take a capture, say for example somebody is blowing out a birthday cake, right? it's, it's a hard uh, image to capture and of course you just get that one moment, imagine that that's a blurry image. Uh, so notice, that means all 100% of the pixels are helping you find this focus. Uh, the re net result is a much, much faster focusing speed for all your photographs, especially when it comes to challenging light conditions. Let's take a look at how, uh, how much difference it makes when you're looking at this focusing speed. So on your left is the Redmi Note 5 Pro and this one is the Note 6 Pro. In all conditions, whether it's colored or a little more detailed one, the Note 6 Pro focuses a lot faster than the Note 5 Pro. So essentially what we've done is we've taken the best camera available in this segment and made it a whole lot better. With fast, faster focusing, what you can get is images like this one. Now he's doing parkour, obviously he's, going, he's off the wall. Uh, now this shot, if you can see, he is completely in focus. You can see all the details, including his hair, but also the background is kept in focus, it's detailed, you can see all of the elements. Uh, started with DSLRs and we brought it down to uh, the segment for the first time. We also have kept electronic image stabilization. Now this is something, again, a lot of me fans were asking us for. Uh, you guys were taking a lot of videos and these videos, uh, you, with the EIS, you're able to kind of reduce the overall jitters, the shake that comes from these videos making them a lot more shareable across channels. Uh, now this is some part of you know, hardware and changes that we've got. Uh, however, we decided to take the Note cameras to a next level altogether. For the first time ever on the Redmi Note, you've got AI scene detection. Uh, now why is this such a big deal? All of us, almost everyone, when we take a picture, we end up editing. So we would go to that picture, try and play around with the contrast, or maybe try and change the overall saturation levels. But here's the harsh reality. Only 2% actually know what they're doing. Remaining 98, me included, have no idea how to get the best possible image out. And this is where our r and team, our camera r and team, has worked really hard, working through thousands and thousands of images for each scene to get to develop a really powerful learning algorithm. And it detects different scenes and gives you the best possible image. Uh, scenes like you know, your everyday city or architecture, or for mat that matter, if you're taking a picture of even a document, how is that text a lot sharper? Uh, sunrise or grass, how do the leaves kind of stand out a bit more? Of course, uh, the first image that you saw of uh, the, the image in Indonesia, where the leaves were really standing out, you could see some of that AI power coming to the fore. Uh, all of them work together to give you a, a flagship level AI dual camera experience.
but it is a dual camera and the reason we have dual cameras is because we want better portraits and with and I'm just jumping the gun here but with the Note 6 Pro it's just taking it to the next level altogether of course what you know about Xiaomi's portrait mode is it works really really well you've got R1 AI semantic segmentation which is able to differentiate the subject from the background and really get you those beautiful blurs uh, for example if I compare this with a, say a flagship device like the S9 Plus uh, what you can see is not only are the details on the subject a lot more but the overall edge detection is far superior uh, the hair color is a lot more accurate but even the edge that you see on the hair side or even the shoulder here makes a lot more difference mm -hmm. calling AI portrait 2.0 now again you've got two cameras what are those two cameras doing are you using that to the maximum uh, with AI portrait 2.0 we think we are what you get is you get adjustable bokeh you get studio lighting and light trails let me talk about each of these and why they're important adjustable bokeh now typically this is found on flagships in fact Apple recently announced uh, their latest flagship and they really highlighted this feature of course in Xiaomi we believe that innovation is for everyone and hence we are getting it to the Note series what you do is of course you get an incredible portrait shot with the Note 6 Pro but now the power goes back to the user where you can decide how much bokeh you want to apply all you need to do is go to the gallery and you see the, the portrait icon up top click on this and then after that you get that control an incredible handsome man uh, introducing commander galsasi bro uh, so of course uh, with rohit being there everything anyways looks good but there is a bokeh here uh, if, in case you forget of course what you can see is uh, those lights at the back now what you can do is apply effects like this so this is a swirl effect which is dynamic not just this we've got six different dynamic bokeh effects for example the light circles or diamonds and when Rohit is with me fans to, to capture his mood hearts so what you do get is for the first time ever you get dynamic bokeh as well on the Note 6 Pro now once you've done this dynamic bokeh what you can do is you can easily capture this either as an image which is the final image or as a video which can be readily shared on any of your platforms uh, whether it's social or whether you want to put it on whatsapp and send it across to somebody the note 6 pro with some of the flagships out there nobody offers you this level of control right there are people who offer portrait mode of course they are all in one complete all-round package it's just an overall incredible dual camera setup so to sum it up uh, flagship level ai rear dual camera you've got an uh, incredible 12 megapixel uh, plus a 5 megapixel uh, depth sensor it has dual pixel autofocus it has electronic image stabilization you get better low light photography thanks to the wider aperture and the larger pixel size you've got AI scene detection coming in um, and recognizes 32 categories and of course what we just saw a uh, really dramatic a uh, really cool AI portrait 2.0 where you can control your book but we did say quad camera so let me talk about the two cameras up front now these are also really cool where you've got a 20 megapixel primary camera and this is club with a 2 megapixel uh, what we did was we tried to do a, compar a comparative shot uh, unfortunately we had to kind of look at anything else which had two cameras in the front so that was fair to others right uh, so the closest one we could find was the Samsung A8 Plus now this one is a 28,000 rupee device but it does have a dual camera in the front uh, the, the results actually we had to go so essentially in low light condition it helps you take in a lot more light and give you better low light selfies like this one again uh, a great low light selfie uh, she is still in focus you can see everything clearly and of course the beautiful bokeh 
especially with those lights at the back, it looks really cool.